we heard a lot of great presentations today, even the idea of shy and, and, and what Alistair so, so showed us this morning. It, they all would have been unachievable by the only one thing we're going to speak about now, namely the internet. But let us go back a little bit, a little bit in the past. I think you all remember this was the only way to connect to the internet a few years ago, some 15 or so, and the odd sound the modem used to make. I'm not try, going to try to make them up for you now. How, what's the new reality right now? This, you know, this is the number of the internet users in Bulgaria, some 3.4 million, which represents 0.15% of the whole internet population around the globe, which is more than 2.2 billion people. Yes, some 45% of the Bulgarian population currently is online, but yet there are some regions, some, in, in some rural areas where the internet penetration is less than 15%. How is, go, how is the future going to look like? According to the biggest producer of networking equipment in the world, Cisco, there are going to be 15 billion devices connected to the internet, and this is not going to happen in 10 years' time. It, it, will, it will happen in the year 2015. What is online now? We have PCs, tablets, smartphones. Everybody knows that. We also have TVs, cameras, and other devices. They're all united via the web. So why not in the future we have our toaster, for example? Imagine the perfect life of going home and your toaster knowing that you're going home and you have the freshly baked toast waiting for you after a hard day at work. Sounds nice, right? So, in the end of the day, what we came up with an idea is that basically the internet is the new freedom, or at least it is a source of that freedom that we all want to achieve. Why is that? We are online when we're on the roller coaster. <laughs> Texting, maybe. We're online on the beach. This is not news for anybody. We're online when you're going to a concert. I'm sure that each and every one of you who has been to the concert. I went to a Metallica concert a few months ago and I saw it was on a stadium. I was up and I saw, you know, what, I didn't see the band, but I saw all these phones flashing, flashing, taking images. And we're also online, we're in Tahrir Square, setting our country free. And this is actually the source that helped to realize the Arab Spring last year. So what actually is freedom? This is one of my favorite quotes. The best road to progress is freedom's road. This quote belongs to J.F. Kennedy. In my point of view, or at least in our point of view, freedom, that's the ability to act no matter where, when, or how, and without constraints, no matter what the circumstances are. Uh, regarding the internet point of view of freedom, you have two main freedoms. One of them is the ability to connect anywhere, anytime. The other one is the net neutrality. This is a principle everybody's talking right now. And if I have to summarize this really, really hard de definition, it's actually to be able to load all kinds of pages, no matter how big or small they are, in an equal way. This is uh, actually the first freedom, the, fir the, the first aspect of freedom was what we focused on, actually the ability to connect. And this is how the idea of set the internet free was born. As more and more of us are online on one hand, and more and more uh, people are getting divided from those online due to the lack of that internet connection, we decided that we should open up the, the thing that is changing our lives currently, and that's the internet. This is why we decided to celebrate the, the, the 42nd birthday of the internet, which is October 29, 2011, with an initiative I just showed you in the video a little while ago. It's called Set the Internet Free, but not free in terms of not pay for, just so you know. So how, it, how did we realize that idea? We started off in, in mid-October with launching a web page, subudiinternet.com, which is actually set the internet free in Bulgarian. And we also created a fa Facebook fan page and a Twitter account because we wanted to, to use the power of social media that is currently on, on, on its peak to, to create this initiative. On October 29th, when we said happy birthday internet, we had 1.7 thousand uh, open up hotspots in Bulgaria. Good thing, these were not hotspots from uh, public places such as cafes and restaurants or hotels. These were hotspots open up from the people for, to the people. Basically, we asked users to open up their hotspots so, uh, so no matter where we are, you could go, you know, you can check your email, you can, you can, you can post something on Facebook. This is, wanted, well, this is what we wanted to achieve, to open up the basic layer of those services. Then, inspired by that success, we decided that we should continue. And on January 31st this year, we launched an Android app, 
and a new improved site where you can now add your own hotspot or check out where the other hotspots are. And you can also download that app on your phone and you have an offline database of where you can find free internet access. This way you, don't, you, you, you can be online all the time. Currently, we're having 4.1 4 thousand hotspots and almost 160 thousand Android app downloads, which makes us, or those within the set internet free app, one of the most downloaded applications ever to be created in Bulgaria. And we are currently developing our iOS application, and we're aiming for worldwide coverage, but that on a later stage. Also, one more thing which, we actually, which will actually help us address the smaller parts of the country we spoke about is our newly formed partnership with the Association of the Municipalities in Bulgaria, where we spoke with them uh, and they backed us up and now we'll start to work with over 220 municipalities so that we can try to achieve our goal, which is to have a free hotspot uh, zone for access, for access for, to the people of, of, of the web. Uh, in each and every town, or at least in each and every municipality in Bulgaria. Because this is actually, actually a huge trend in Bulgaria right now. We have public spaces such as parks, pedestrian areas, opened up by, by state institutions, by companies. More and more companies are opening up their offices just so people have free access to the web, or at least to the basic layer of the, 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 the service. Namely, share something on Facebook or Twitter, email somebody, read something. This is, this is actually our goal. So what we would like to achieve, what we, where do we want to go? We would like to get more and more global. Uh, if I have to turn back, even when we started, uh, one of the first hotspots we ever had was not in Sofia, but it was in Zagreb, in Croatia. Somebody found out about us via the internet and posted a free hotspot in the municipality of Croatia. So now we'd like to go more and more global. We'd like to have a database, even why not in London? You know, yesterday I was roaming in London, searching for a hotspot to try to post an email that was like two sentences, and I couldn't find one. It was a horrifying experience. <laughs> Trust me. You know, because it, the internet is changing more and more the way we live, the way we communicate. You know, last week I went on a vacation to Greece, and my, well, the first thing my girlfriend did when she arrived, you know, what she did, she just took a photo, posted it, and said, this is paradise. Okay, if there was no free hotspot over there, she wouldn't have been able to do that. And after we continue, and yes, if we, let's say, go global, what we would like to see, or at least what I'd like to see, is the internet becoming a human right. This is what just, we just spoke about. Actually, as we speak, there are countries in the world, such as Finland, such as Greece, as I mentioned, such as Estonia, where the internet is already a human right. And the United Nations is starting to speak about that internet access, or at least the basic level of internet access we are speaking about, the communication level of the internet, is a human right. So maybe one day we will live in a world where the connection to the web is, is a granted thing, and we should all have it no matter where we live in the most rural areas of, of our countries or we live in the capitals. So what can you do about it? Well, I can ask you to go to subudiinternet.com and open up your Wi-Fi hotspot in, at home maybe, why not, and join us and, 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 and give the opportunity for some poor roaming guy like me, go to your place and find a hotspot to send his email. And I would like to thank you for your attention.